Hi there, and welcome to another quick Release 19 uh, review video. Uh, and in this video, I'm going to just be showing the new um, DC control, so the difficulty class control, where the GM can um, easily set a difficulty for a role that a player is going to do. So, for, as an example here, we actually have the um, the actual DC control on the GM's desktop. Um, like other controls, you can unlock the position, move it around, and set it to where you actually want it to be on your desktop. And what this control does is allows you to either manually set a DC, so you can just click on the roll DC and type in a number if you want, and then that will be used for a roll. Um, you can set a level, uh, so if somebody's perhaps trying to identify a creature or a magic item or something like that, if it's level 5, just type in the level and it will automatically set the DC for that. If they're trying to identify a spell, you know, type in the level of the spell and it shows you the ranges that the system will actually use. If you just want to use a simple DC, you can just select that DC and maybe adjust for rarity. Um, and maybe for hardness as well. And that's all going to contribute to actually give the final uh, roll DC there. Now, all of these controls here are based off the tables and the data that is in the core rules in chapter 10. So if I just go to the reference manual and I'll just go at the tables section at the back here and just scroll down to chapter 10 and basically we have this so simple dcs you know what dc is set based off the um the actual um the drop down for simple dcs so you can see that 40 would set legendary dcs by level if you type in a uh, level so if we type in 25 uh, that sets 50. Uh, notice that spell levels are slightly different um so we could uh you know clear that type in a, a spell level as well and then we could use the adjustments either you know incredibly easy very easy you know making changes of those and changing to the rarities as well so that's just a quick way of a gm actually setting a dc for a role now as an example uh there's also a way that a gm can automatically set that dc based off uh dragging a record to the um to this control so say if somebody was fighting um some creatures and they weren't sure what the, you know, the actual owl bear was. I'll just move that over there. I can drag the link from the owl bear down to there, and that's going to set the DC. It's going to use the creature level, and if it was a rare creature, it would set that as well, and it would set the DC for somebody trying to do a recall knowledge test or any other tests related to this creature. Um, and as an, another example, say perhaps you know the the parties found a couple of magic items that they're not sure what they actually are, they haven't been identified yet, uh, and say this you know this player is going to do a recall knowledge to identify magic, so we have identify magic here Arcana, and this is an exploration 10 minute task. Uh, it's a secret task, so the player doesn't actually see the result of the roll, um, and so maybe you know they're going to try and identify the ruby red liquid which is actually a healing potion um, the gm can just drag that link for that healing potion it's level one so it just sets level one there and so it's a 15 the player's got a dc 15 target but the players doesn't see any, any of that uh, and so they can make their identify magic roll because it's secret the player doesn't see the roll um but the gm does and it even says it's a failure so they rolled an eight against a 15 so it's a failure they fail to identify the magic and can't try again for one day so then um they might want to have a look at the longsword okay what's the longsword uh this is a level three item it's plus one longsword so it's level three based off the um the fundamental uh rune put on it and so they could try and identify that spend another minute to tr 10 minutes to try and identify that uh, roll their arcana and again they've got a failure a um, little bit better but still can't actually get there so that's you know quite a easy way quick and easy way for gms just to set dcs and players to try and identify them um, as an example as well i'll just try and find a i don't think i've actually got a rare oh yeah i have i've got a brass dragon in here uh, which is which is not rare 
So we actually do have a um, creature I've been using here for testing, and the um, the rarity is based off the um, the rare, common, uncommon, um, unique uh, trait in the individual creature. So this is actually going to be a creature level 16 and rare. So if um, somebody actually wants to try and identify that, again, just drag the link to the DC control. It sets the level of 16. It sets plus five rare. So now that's a, a DC 40 check. Uh, that they actually you know, have to make their roll against. So, yeah, there's probably a good chance that they're going to fail. Um, sorry, that would be Recall Knowledge Arcana against a dragon. Yeah, critical failure, you misunderstand um, you know, uh, something about the GM's choice. That you can give some additional bad information if you like there. Um, and there's also, you know, once that base DC has been set, the uh, GM can actually change it. So, an example, maybe this adult brass dragon is actually quite a well known brass dragon for the area. So, you know, when you set, you click and drag the link to set the, um, the base DC. And you could say, okay, it's actually, you know, incredibly easy to just recall some basic information about this dragon. You know, maybe what its name is, where it lives, things like that. But maybe they'd need, you know, a higher actual check, like a critical success, to get some more information about that dragon because you've already kind of made it incredibly easy. And so when, you know, the player rolls there, um, recall knowledge check. It's going to be compared with that 18, 15. It's another failure, so they don't actually um, receive anything from that. Um, so that's just a really uh, just a quick going through of this new functionality that will be coming in release 19. The way the um, the GM can set these DCs, they can be used for kind of not just for secret checks. Uh, maybe somebody's climbing a wall. And you just want to set that to be maybe a trained um, level for climbing the wall. Uh, the player rolls their climb check, and the results um, seven. It, yeah, it's a failure against that climb, so they've just just failed. But we see the result there because climb is not a um, secret uh, check. So you know, it's one action to climb. They spend another action. This time they get a twenty. It's a critical success. And now there's actually some information to report as to what that actually means you know failure to climb just means you don't fall you just don't make any progress um, but a critical success you know move up and tells you basically how how fast you can move in that one action that you spent to actually do the uh, the climb check so I hope this has given you a bit of information about what's upcoming in release 19, just a small portion of all the, act the activities and actions functionality that's going to be available in release 19. Thanks for watching.